we focus ourselves, <laughs> you, know, you know, because we are the consciousness that perceives and experiences and decides. So that is important, and that is not the brain. In the conventional way of understanding consciousness, uh, consciousness is an epiphenomenon of the brain. That's what most scientists are telling us today. Uh, epiphenomenon means a phenomenon that has no cause of power. The cause of power is in the atoms and molecules and in the structures of the brain. And in some, somehow the brain decides what it's going to do, then it shows to our consciousness, which is a portion of the brain somehow, and then we think that we have made that decision or we think that what we see is, you know, is what we want. That's what epiphenomenon means. It means that we are deceived by the body into believing that we have control of the body when in fact we are simply, you know, bystanders of what the body does on its own. And that's, you know, that basically completely destroys any meaning to our life, any meaning to consciousness. Because once you say that consciousness is epiphenomenal, like free will, now you don't have anything, you, have, you, you are a machine. And science is telling today that we are machines. So our humanity, the meaning of our life, the purpose of our life are all lost. There is nothing else. When the body dies, we are gone. The theory that I have is instead that when the body dies, we essentially no longer paying attention to the signals that the body creates and I pay attention to with my consciousness. I all of a sudden perceive a vaster world that I didn't know existed because I was so, how to say, uh, you know, focus on this reality seen through my body by paying attention only to the signals created by the body that I forgot about the other reality. That's how you can explain when people have extraordinary experience of consciousness because for a, for a second or for a minute or for an hour they lose their focus on the signals of the body and they perceive other signals which are, already, they are also here but that we don't pay attention to and so we have extraordinary experiences of consciousness.